343 loses their lead narrative designer. A recent leak shows a Master Chief armor core coming to the game, and the Mangler is getting nerfed, and a whole lot more, so stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going Halo fans? Kevin here once again giving you some news and information about Halo. We have a ton of little stories to cover today guys. Timestamps in the description down below if you want to skip to exactly what you want to find out about. But trust me, there's plenty of details throughout the entire video. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, make sure you hit subscribe. And so let's get right into the content here. So to start off the video today guys, Aaron Lind, who was the lead narrative designer at 343, has just left the company. Staying there here on Twitter saying that bittersweet news to report. I'm departing 343 industries to pursue a new opportunity in 2022. It was a terrifically difficult decision. Halo Infinite will remain one of my proudest achievements of my career for the rest of my life. I'm so grateful to have been a part of it. And if you read his profile, it says right here that he's now the senior narrative writer at Riot R&D. And this just coming off of the heels of another huge departure at 343 Industries. Her former Sandbox lead at 343, the guy who was in charge of why like the Sandbox and all the weapons feel so great, Quinn Del Hoyo, leaves 343 as well to join up with Robert Bowling and Dr. Disrespect to start up a new game studio named Midnight Society. And they haven't announced any project yet, but they're looking to do a very community focused experience when it comes to making like a shooter game. So is this like cause for alarm or people jumping ship from Halo Infinite and doing like whatever they want to do now? And I'd say no, this isn't a cause for alarm because these people are leaving 343 to pursue other projects and also they spent years and years at 343 creating an awesome experience for Halo Infinite and they have other opportunities out there that probably give them some more great creative freedoms and also a potentially higher pay rate as well for what they were already doing. I mean I think Quindel Hoyo has been part of 343 since Halo 4 even before that even so he certainly spent his time with the company. The only time it's really ever worth like freaking out about when people leave a company like 343 is when they're just leaving without any kind of reason. We saw this happen a lot with Bioware during the development of Anthem, uh, but these developers are leaving because they have other opportunities, not because of creative differences or something like that. A recent post on Reddit here showcases that it looks like there will be a memory leak happening with Halo Infinite. This could be the reason why your game performance degrades over time or when you're having crashes when you're playing for an extended period of time. Now the poster shows these different error messages and it's kind of just like data mumbo jumbo to me mostly, but then showcases down here saying that the Halo EXE is consuming 14 gigabytes of virtual memory on their end, saying that by about after 10 to 20 minutes of playing, the game tends to crash quite a lot. This post had over 4,000 upvotes, so I think a lot of people are experiencing this as well. I know crashing seems to be pretty common when it comes to playing Halo Infinite, so this is definitely one thing to keep in mind right now if you are experiencing a lot of crashing right now or just degradation of performance to Possibly just restart your game about every hour or so. This is very common when it comes to new games especially. Uh, usually developers do find ways to patch these out as well. Though we haven't heard it, it mentioned in any official capacity, but once it does, I'll let you guys know on this channel. So right now it's kind of a developing story. And talking about a developing story guys, it looks like the Mangler is going to get a nerf. A Mangler nerf has been the talk of discussion when it comes to the competitive scene for quite some time now. But Snipe Down recently went to Twitter just saying that the Mangler needs to be put on a different spawn cycle like the Heat Wave or Shotgun, which is like a dynamic spawn rather than a 30 second static spawn timer that's currently on. Saying that there's like three people plus are having a Mangler, the gameplay just isn't really that great and I would totally agree with that as well as the Mangler is an incredibly powerful weapon. This got some traction as well online. We saw Lucid, who's one of the top players out there, agree with him saying that this needs to be some kind of update tied to this as well. Halo Legends like Frosty and Pistola also chimed in with this feeling the same thing saying like, yeah, we need to have like a discussion with 343 something needs to happen with the mangler eventually the head of hds tasha did come in saying that hi guys we have definitely been seeing all, all of the feedback and talking about it internally especially for ones big like the mangler so clearly 343 recognizes that this weapon is really good and a lot of pros have been talking about it as well probably getting it nerfed in some capacity now there's multiple ways to nerf it usually from what we hear nerf we hear like damage reduction, making the weapon less effective. I don't expect to see that happen with the Mangler. 
I fully expect to see to stay the same kind of power and ability that it has right now within the sandbox of that one shot melee, that two tap swap to the bow rifle one shot kill kind of potential. What I'm expecting to see happen is possibly in competitive, we will see it move to more of a dynamic spawn, kind of like we see with like the needler, the heat wave, and the shotgun, stuff like that. Because I don't think the issue right now is the mangler itself. I think the issue is having multiple manglers on the field at one time, which I can agree would be a really frustrating experience. And also keep in mind that if these kind of situations and nerfs happen to a weapon within the competitive scene, most likely they'll mirror over into ranked, and we could see that also transfer over to the social modes as well. But like I said, this is a developing story, and I'll have more to report on it as soon as we get some more concrete information, but we do see that internally, 343 is talking about something about the mangler and how they're going to be kind of reworking its place within the sandbox. Next, we're talking about some leaks here. I'm talking about a Master Chief armor set looking to come into Halo Infinite. Some code was recently leaked on Twitter here showcasing like the just the basic kind of pathing of how the different armor cores are set up within Halo Infinite. We see the Olympus armor set, which is kind of referred to as the Mark 7. We see Reach, we see Samurai written down, but we also see MC117. Now, obviously this could just be like a text document that you threw up online, but Serasia, who tweeted this out, is a rather reputable leaker and guy who can provide some insider information about Halo. Like he did say like, hey, November 15th, guys, keep a strong eye on it on it, because he was like all about like keep an eye out for November 15th, and lo and behold, November 15th was the, re was the release of the multiplayer. Though this isn't the first time we've seen Master Chief Armor set be leaked in some capacity. Uh, also, when you first logged into the Halo Waypoint app during the flights, there was a placeholder image of a Master Chief Armor set, saying it's a Mark VI Gen 3, which definitely is Master Chief's version of his armor it's very official looking as well i remember seeing that when i was first logging into the halo waypoint app when i was playing around with the flights and i was like did they just show the master chief like core right here along with the silver bullet assault rifle variation as well which is like straight up like the halo 5 assault rifle so since we literally saw like the master chief armor set as a placeholder image in the halo waypoint app when you first log in i guess it gives a list leak a lot more credibility and so i do expect us to eventually have master chief's armor set be part of halo infinite's customization obviously when it will happen we have no idea i would say most likely within season two but of course, this is also a developing story. Once we get some concrete information from 343, they are filtering back into the office in a way uh, after their long needed break uh, from holiday season. And so we should begin some information sometime either this week or next week, some concrete stuff about what's happening with Halo moving forward because there's a lot to talk about. There's a lot to fix. There's a lot to add into the game as well. And this is the channel you're gonna wanna stick to if you wanna keep up to date with all that information. But if you're new to the channel or missing any content for me recently, check out this playlist right here. I got a link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos we've been uploading daily about. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.